The Raiders have informed NFL teams they would consider trading him for a second round pick and additional compensation. The two teams high on his wish list of places to land are the Jets and the Saints. Lots of opinions yesterday on where Devontae should go. Here are a few from some people you know. Damn it, Christmas has come early. We got to smile about this one because you know where I'm going. It's the Dallas Cowboys. That's who the hell should get him. I mean, this is Christmas come early. It is the best fit for him to go back with Aaron Rodgers in New York. I believe he will elevate the team to a whole nother level. They need a true number one, and it'll just boost the offense big time. They need Devontae Adams over there. So, before we kick around where he should go and who he would make into a Super Bowl team and all of that, I, I want to clear one thing up. I think Harry probably as my resident wide receiver for a lot of people who are watching. From the time he left Aaron Rodgers, his numbers haven't really been the same, and he doesn't play on nearly as high profile a team, so people don't see him as much. And there are probably a lot of fans wondering, is he still the same guy? Is he still the difference maker he was when he was at his very best? Is he? 1,000%. And you talk about a guy who has the ability to win one-on-one -on -one versus any and every corner. There's a lot of times where the number one corner is going to follow Devontae Adams. It doesn't matter because he's that darn good. One of the best route runners. So you talk about releases off the line of scrimmage, being able to be quick, twitchy, fast, get in and out of breaks. He's a guy that will demand double teams. You can still throw it to him when the double team is there. He, he's your security blanket in so many words. So a guy like Devontae Adams, just because he's with the Las Vegas Raiders, doesn't mean his talent has decreased. I just feel like the quarterback position isn't as great as he's had in the past, mm -hmm. so it makes people feel that way. And Hawk was making the point that what makes him special, his superpower, if you will, is not something that diminishes with age the way a guy who depends on his speed and all that does, right? He's, he is a technician, sure. to use the word that you used, and that's something that probably lasts a little longer than the guys who are yeah. just basing everything on their speed and quickness. Well, to make it simple, I would say this. If you're a wide receiver coach and you're teaching young wide receivers the game, Devontae Adams is a guy. Him and Justin Jefferson are two people that you're going to put on that tape. Number one, how to defeat press, how to be in zone. He has this feel, where to go, where to be at. And number one, he's reliable. Too. And who does Justin Jefferson watch? Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams. There's a reason. So now, let's, so now that we've set the table with that, this guy is a difference maker. He could be the difference in some team getting to the Super Bowl. Which team should it be? Dan. Yeah, it's the New York Jets. And it's the only team. The Jet, he will be a Jet this season. And I think he will be a Jet before the trade deadline comes sometime oh, in November. Yeah. Yeah. The Jets have no choice. They've, in many ways, already gone all in. They can't beat man coverage. They have a standstill offense. This reminds me so much of when Tom went down to Tampa Bay and they acquired A.B. late. If you're going to just stand there and not use motion, if you're not going to use a ton of play action, you better have people that can just go out there and win. Hey, you be better than that guy. It's recess. Just like Harry's talking about. Place him out there and he can go win. Garrett Wilson, for some reason, and Aaron have not had that connection yet. That would not be a problem with Devontae Adams. If the Jets yeah. truly want to be a Super Bowl contender a month into this season, okay, because they are who they are on tape, they need Devontae Adams. Agreed. And people in the league expect this to be a foregone conclusion. But can I just push back? There are a few reasons why, if you're a Jets fan, you may not feel like you should get him. <sighs> Number one. This, the Devontae Adams piece of it has been a distraction this whole time. Garrett Wilson has been asked about this ad nauseum and stuff like that. You do run the risk of stunting the growth of a young, burgeoning superstar in Garrett Wilson, a guy that I'm particularly high on, and also the financial piece of it. Devontae Adams, though his salary will go down each week, he will eat up about $13.5 million of their $15 million cap space. So you will have to restructure other deals if you do get him. I understand it is a foregone conclusion that if you go this far with a 40, soon-to-be 41-year-old quarterback, you've got to go get his best friend. But there is a downside to this because now you got Alan Lazard, you got Mike Williams, all these guys in the mix. You plop Devontae there, everybody else's production goes down as well. You're not wrong. But to my surprise, and Dan, I think yours as well, it just hasn't been good enough. Like, I, I oh, was yeah. expecting Garrett Wilson yeah. to become Devontae okay. Adams. Well, with uh, but I think, that's part of the, I think that's part of the problem because you're expecting that type of production from a guy who was with Aaron Rodgers for several years. And after that Broncos game, I talked to a veteran player who said, listen, you look at Alan Lazard right now. He was with Aaron for five years. Right. There's a reason they have that trust built in already. Gar this is game four after that. It was game four of that Garrett Wilson, Aaron Rodgers. I, I totally agree with some of the things you're saying. Okay, so number one, 
There is a reality where we have to credit Denver defensively for last they week. They are very yeah. good. They're very, very good. good. Okay, Patrick so Sertan. Yes. Very good. Kimberly, to the two things, when it comes to the stunting, the growth, I do not believe the Jets organization care that much about growth right now. They, they aren't they the one have time to keep it out. I know. It's yeah. about know. winning. No, I know. And then two, the money. This is the exact reason why Aaron took the pay cut last year. But they also gave up money to Hassan. They also were expecting Hassan Reddick to be here also. Sure. And then they got other, you know. Sure, but yeah, how'd that work out? When, when the pay great. cut happened, there was the question of why would he do that? This is the reason why, to go get Devontae Adams. All right, so I'm with you. So listen, I'm, there was no, there's no, there are no words to describe how I'm bored. I you am will be wearing a, a sleeveless little tank situation. No, very I won't. Soon. I will win that bet. I don't I'm, think it's a I'm if, coming it's for a you, win. McAfee. I'm winning this bet, and your guys have to come up here and do my show with me. Yeah. Okay, let's move on from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's one option. Yeah. You've got another one. I love him on the Washington Commanders. And to Dan's point, I understand you're looking at a team in desperation. It's the Jets. They need to go out there and get him. If you're talking about a team where you just want to see the fit of him with a young oh, quarterback yeah. and Jaden Daniels. I love him side by side with Terry McLaurin in this office because Cliff Kingsbury coming over has done a fantastic job of mixing in the quarterback run game and Jaden Daniels this guy has not cracked under pressure we're expecting him to have this lapse as a rookie quarterback we haven't seen it thus far so to see the growth of what they could do with somebody like Devontae Adams in a division where we have a fork out here and we've talked about it all morning about possibly sticking it in the Cowboys in the Philadelphia Eagles they could be in the position where we're like, the commanders are favored to win this division. They Jeff Saturday it. mentioned yeah. the Cowboys. That look, they can't do almost anything on offense right now. They mm -hmm. can't run the ball. Dak really doesn't have anywhere to go. That that could be the one thing that could be their salvation. Once upon a time, they made a move in season for Amari Cooper, and it made a big difference yep. in Dallas. What would you think, Harry, of that fit, the Cowboys making the aggressive all-in move? I don't like the move. Exactly. Because you were supposed to be all-in starting the last offseason, right? Uh, what happened to All In when it came to Derrick Henry, who happens to be the leading rusher in the NFL? Yes. They couldn't the, afford him. The, 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 yeah, but we can yeah, afford Devontae. <laughs> but they're on the verge. But they're on the verge, <laughs> the yeah. on the verge yeah. now, right? I mean, they're I'm on the verge of, the struggle of falling out. Now. I mean, this could be. So, they, they, they should be in desperation. Win, if you can't run. In today's NFL, you're not going to win a Super Bowl if you cannot run the football. The Dallas Cowboys cannot run the football, nor can they stop the run. So why am I going out and getting Devontae Adams? Let, let, let me, so teach us all some football. So I feel like if you can't run the ball, then maybe what the way to try and do that is if you have Devontae Adams on one side and C.D. Lamb on yeah. the other side, that's going to open up the middle of the field, but and it'll make your we know where you're going. We know where they're going already. It's C.D., right? Like, okay, we know they're going to – it's Devontae, C.D., we're not afraid. If you're a defense, you're not afraid of, of Ezekiel Elliott. No, I get it. Wait, to your but point, does they, this they make should, them dedicate they more be, resources? They should be trying to get Devontae Adams. I, I understand what you yeah. guys are saying. Yeah. It may not make a big difference. Yeah. If you're the Dallas Cowboys, Devontae no, Adams is available. No. Why the hell would you not pick uh, up the Because, because they're, they're not a Devontae Adams Brandon Brandon away from injured. winning a Super Bowl. They're not a Devontae Both Adams Both of those away. things. Paid your quarterback. You've paid your receiver. Like, there is no we're building for the future right now if you're the Dallas Cowboys. Both of those things could be true. Yes, 100%. Cowboys should be going after Devontae Adams. Most teams should yeah, have yes. an interest in Devontae yeah. Adams, and they aren't Devontae Adams away from winning the Super Bowl. To answer your question about running the football, okay, yeah. with CeeDee Lane, yeah. you don't get running the football like, realistically with receivers. <laughs> like, it doesn't <laughs> loosen up for defense. I mean, you it get doesn't. better running the football because your offensive line's good. But let, me, let me put it to you like this, though, Greeny. You know the teams who worked on this during training camp because yeah. it's a mindset. Yeah. The ones who worked on it during training, training camp and it's their mindset, those are the teams that you see that are top rushers, or, or rushing teams, I should say, in the NFL right But now. my question, you guys, you mentioned the Jets. They have to go out and get Devontae Correct. Adams. If they don't get him and they don't win, the entire staff is fired. The Dallas Cowboys, they don't fit in that same Totally. Scenario? Absolutely. Absolutely. There's no question about it that they We're fit We're saying they're not that, a playoff team. They fit into that criteria. I agree <laughs> that I'm Dallas should. It. I thought those five yes. teams initially were the Jets, the Steelers, the Ravens, Washington, and Dallas. Yeah. For everyone who says the Chiefs, they're not going to trade them to the yeah. Chiefs. That would be That would be yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Asinine, actually. Um, but another side of it, too, though, is when you look at Devontae Adams and his contract, when it comes to the years after this year, are you going to be paying C.D. Lamb this money? And Devontae Adams, this amount yeah, of money? Devontae, I don't you think, got other holes you need point. to fill on your let, let me share this I with think you. Devontae Adams has no guaranteed money yes. left after yes. this yes. year. Yes. I, look, this is an all-in team kind of move. The, I, he, the only person who just came, Mark, I may agree with you that the Cowboys are not Devontae Adams away from winning the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure Jerry Jones agrees with you. I think he thinks he has a great team here. He's <laughs> mystified that they're not playing better, and he thinks they might be Devontae Adams. I said a few weeks ago, no. Jerry Jones is delusional, too. No, but here's the thing. We talked about this yesterday, Greeny. None of the moves that the Cowboys have made collectively make sense when true. you look at them together. That's right. So uh, adding Devonte after you didn't get Derrick Henry, like, that and you're gonna it, you didn't have money for him, but you got money. Makes sense. So go ahead and throw that one in there too. Final word. <laughs> Devonte ain't going to a team that he has to play second fiddle at. In Dallas, he would be second fiddle to CD. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm that's sorry. quite a noise. I'm he sorry. would be. Yeah. I, I, uh, that's if, true. I, I, that's yeah, true. If I'm Devontae, if, I'm, if Alan Lazard's not playing second fiddle to Garrett If Wilson. I'm Devontae and I don't walk into every locker room like I'm the – like Justin Jefferson to me is the guy where I'm like, okay, like I get it. That's – I get that. See, no. Let me pause right. briefly on yeah. this thought. We have more to say about all of them, and we still might have to stick a fork in someone. I'm not sure who yet. <laughs> 